Hi, I'm Abby Scott with Hollywood Junket here with Robert. Hey. hey. Who's an all star. Yes. Amazing. So let's talk about JT. First of all, he is adorable. I think he's won my heart and America's heart. Oh, uh, he won mine too. I'm, gonna, I'm not gonna lie. He's like, he's the best thing ever. I don't, I like, don't know how to explain it, but like, every time I'm around him, I get so happy. I like, feel like. I'm doing something right with my life when I'm around him, you know. He is such a mini adult. Yeah, no, I can't for real. believe how mature he is. Yeah. How young he is. You think like, oh my gosh, he's so cute, like he's so crazy, but like when you really talk to him, he's got brains. He's really smart. Yeah. And that's why I feel like in the routines that he does, he does well because he, he's young, but like he knows how to take a correction, knows how to apply it, which is awesome. And let's talk about your dance tonight. I mean, yeah. everyone loved it. Oh, thank you. I know uh, it was just Jason that gave him a hard time saying uh, that he wasn't given it all. Um, I think Nigel gave him kind of a critique. And well, Nigel yeah. always gives those <laughs> real... Hey, he's tough, you know? <laughs> he's a tough one. During uh, him and Emma's piece that Travis did okay. when they were painted gray, he kind of gave him a hard time. But I think they were all pretty awesome when it came to our number, which was... I mean, I'm very thankful for it, so. You guys won America's Hearts. Oh, thank you. Um, <laughs> Nigel mentioned that JT possibly can win this whole yeah. thing. Oh, How does that make you feel? I mean, that makes me feel amazing. But that also gives me so much pressure, too, because I'm like, ah, like. We were I, talking about the pressure. Yeah, I was like, I don't, I, you know, as much as, like, I'm thankful for that, like, I don't want it to be, like, a stigma towards him, you know? Absolutely. I want it to just what path he's going on I want him I want to keep pushing that path with him because like he's doing amazing you know and he's keeping his feet on the ground he's keeping his head on his shoulders you know he's not letting his head get big or anything like that which I just want to keep him on that path and I and if we end up at the end I mean heck yeah <laughs> yeah let's so let's not jinx it yeah let's just hopefully maybe hopefully, cross our fingers maybe. we're cross gonna your fingers, yeah put in the word yeah and possibly Amer win america over yeah okay roberts <laughs> do you have a comparison to what jt is to you yeah yeah i mean in the routine like he told me like we were talking and i was like this relates to us so much like this storyline is like what we're going through right now and he's like yeah you're my, my mr bojangles and i was like oh you're gonna kill me kid you're gonna kill me but like to me like he's like the i don't have a little brother i am the youngest i have two older brothers but i never had someone that i could take under my wing so to me he's like my younger younger brother that i never had like i he's like the thing that i know that I want to take care of and look after. I know that he has a family, but you know, I, I, I feel like I'm not going to take him away no, from his I'm family. No, I'm not. I swear. I swear. But like, he's coming to my life for a reason. And I think it's the reason for me is to guide him and be there for him beyond this competition. Well, it's so obvious that he looks up to you and that you're his big brother. And like I said, JT is amazing. We're not going to jinx it. Yeah. But hopefully, maybe, yeah, possibly. And hopefully it will happen. We're going to work and we're going to win America. Yeah. Well, thank you, Robert. Thank you. Once again, I'm Abby Scott with Hollywood Junket, yeah. here with Robert, the all-star, the handsome rock star. <laughs>